So now in this video we're going to make an op amp comparator circuit and this is the LM358 you can use a single supply with it or you can use a dual supply so a single supply is a uh, positive side of the power supply and a negative side of the power supply which is ground that's our zero volt reference point everything above that is more positive a split supply you have more positive and you have more negative than ground so that would go to a more negative supply but uh, we're just going to use a single supply for this video so in any case what this does it compares two voltages coming in we have the inverting input and the non inverting input and sometimes you may just hear uh, minus or plus but uh, technically it's inverting non inverting now the uh, schematic symbol it may have the uh, non inverting up there instead and the inverting down there instead so you got to pay close attention to that so in any case we're going to feed a voltage to the inverting input and uh, it's going to be half of the supply voltage because we're going to use two equal value resistors right there and so we'll have about 2.5 volts right there and with the uh, trim pot we can adjust the voltage as we want and so if we fall below half of what we set at the inverting input the output will go low it'll make a direct connection to ground that's what makes it a single supply op amp and uh, if we go above half of the supply voltage it won't get to the uh, full 5 volts but uh, somewhat close right there and uh, so we'll have uh, current go through there so when the output is high it's as close to 5 volts as it can get the red LED will light up I'm gonna color code them and so since we have not as close of a connection to 5 volts as ground I'm gonna use a lower value resistor plus red LED currents need more or red LEDs need more current to uh, get as bright as a blue LED and so the blue LED here is going to light up when the output is low and uh, so we have a path there it has a higher value resistor because we do have a direct connection to uh, ground and also blue LEDs are just naturally brighter with less current this should even out their brightnesses pretty nicely so that's really about it let's get uh, look into it on the board so now the LM358 I'm using in this video the integrated circuit came from this kit and they give you the pin layout so to begin with we have to power the LM358 so you can see uh, pin number 8 up here we have to the positive supply VCC there's a little dot there and a divot so you know that's the top and there's pin 1 2 3 4 4 is the negative supply and then uh, 5 6 7 8 8 is the positive supply this is a separate op amp right there so the same op amp but uh, just separate this is a dual op amp there's two op amps within this integrated circuit so now the uh, output is the top left pin the inverting input is right below it that's where we have our fixed uh, voltage divider to set the voltage and then we have the non inverting input right below that so we already looked at the power supply I'll uh, remove this now and you can see that uh, at the output we have here's the oscilloscope I'll get that out of the way we have a uh, resistor 220 ohm going to the red LED going up to the top the long lead the anode right there right now the outputs high so long lead the anode short lead the cathode down to ground and then we have at the output there top pin a uh, one kilo ohm resistor and the LED again the LED the short lead the cathode is going to the output and long lead the anode to the positive supply anode has to be more positive than cathode to light up we have our fixed resistors there, two 10 kilo ohms. That one's to the positive supply. That one to the negative. That'll give us 2.5 volts. We'll look at that with the oscilloscope coming up. And our variable voltage, the trim pot right there. We can adjust it right there. You can see the output changing. And so here's the power supply. We're set to 5 volts. Right now it's 2 milliamps because the red or the blue LED, I mean, is lit up and uh, we set a limit of 20 milliamps of current 0 0.02 amps just because we're going to protect LEDs we don't need more current than that first we'll zoom back and I'll show you something when the red LED lights up I'll uh, dim the lights too when the red LED lights up you can see more current 
but it looks like it's about the same brightness approximately as the uh, blue LED even slightly dimmer but it has about three times the current going through it so in any case let's get to looking at the voltages that's the primary thing so first off we have our fixed voltage and uh, so that's where these two fixed resistors come together and I uh, put the wrong that needs to go to ground sorry about that we'll move the red one there we go so there we go there is our fixed voltage right there so it's halfway from uh, 0 volts and uh, 5 volts up there as you can see it's the 5 volt supply so now we have our halfway point the red LED is lit so I know the voltage of the trim pot is higher than that which you can see right there it went up a little bit in voltage so I can go up even higher don't matter it's a comparator we have to go below halfway right there and uh, there we go flipped right there let's go down a little bit more but uh, there you can see we have our halfway point that we went below right there is up a little bit so that is the main takeaway so now let's look at the output that's pretty straightforward we're just comparing two voltages and when the non-inverting is higher then the output goes high when the non-inverting is lower than the inverting then the outputs low pretty straightforward let's actually look at that low and high so I'm gonna move this jumper to where those two resistors are at the output right there now I told you earlier that the output goes all the way to ground that's what makes it a single supply there's a uh, dual supply op amps the voltage doesn't get all the way to the ground you can see it's up a little bit but if I remove the LED now it drops to ground so with a uh, load that it's powering it doesn't quite get to ground so that's one thing with op amps they aren't perfect you learn their basic properties and you got to learn their limitations after that but in any case you saw we could get to ground without the LED that's the main takeaway so that's what makes it a single supply now let's turn the uh, trim pot so the output goes high there is the red LED so we're dealing with 5 volts but we're not getting 5 volts right there we'll look at that supply voltage quick there we go up 5 squares right there and uh, so we have the high output it's not making 5 volts but again we can yank the uh, LED I'll zoom in a little bit and it went up just a speck so that's not the 5 volts of the power supply as you can see there so that's why it's a single supply now if we could get all the way to ground like we do here the single supply and we could also get up to 5 volts then it would be called a rail to rail output and again they got limitations everything has limitations that's why you pick one op amp over the other when you're building your circuit but of course you got to learn what uh, each op amps limitations are before you can do that so not complex may seem uh, intimidating at first but uh, for the most part it's not so bad once you actually get studying it so this was the beginning of that if you're completely new to op amps so hopefully you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most but just watching as many videos as you can helps out a ton so thanks for that I'll see you in the next video